So you have downloaded Qt Creator offline installer with the intent to install it on your PC, but when you run it, it asks you for a login. It was supposed to be an offline installer. Why am I asked to enter a login? Anyway, let's enter a login and another error appears. Installation from this IP address is not allowed. So Qt Creator bans IPs from several specific countries for several specific reasons. And by the way, it also does not allow to download the installer from those IP addresses. And in this case, you may want to go to some other but reputable source of the same files. For example, some university which may host those installer files. Anyway, the obvious solution to the IP part of the problem is to use a VPN to connect to some other country and install Qt Creator while being connected to the internet through some other country. However, this only solves part of the problem. You will still need an account to install the software. It wasn't always so, and if you're on Linux, you can still install Qt Creator from repositories without anything, and you could also probably compile it yourself from sources. But anyway, the change forcing everyone to use an account was enforced in 2020. In certain places online, you can find a solution to avoid having an account by changing your system date to something prior to 2020, for example, to 2019. You don't have to use the offline installer from 2019, you can use the current version, and after you're done installing the software, you can revert your date back to a proper one. However, even though this actually solves the problem, but the reasoning for it is completely different. The reason why changing the date allows you to skip the account entry is because incorrect date prevents your computer from establishing secure connection, so basically it disables internet on your PC. That's why instead of changing the date, you may just temporarily disconnect your PC from the internet. You can disable internet connection in Windows options, you can disable Wi-Fi, you can unplug your Ethernet cable, or you may just unplug your router from the wall socket for the time being. If you run the Qt Creator installer while well, there is no internet, it will tell you about that and will not force you to log into your account. So continue to set up the offline installer while being completely offline, and after the installation is finished, you may restore your internet connection. So this is the way to install Qt Creator without account. I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks. Jingle bells.